Okay. Really? Yeah. Sifuna. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I want to sort of to confirm here, because we've been in, on this show, I think, for a year, uh, just talking about the same things. I have heard him say that now the price of Wunga, I will focus on that Wunga. <laughs> <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> <laughs> he has said one or one or two months. You know, Trevor. If you remember, at the very beginning, uh, we were told immediately the Bible is put down. It's going to address this question of price of hunger. Mm -hmm. Then there was a time when, when the free fertilizer came, we were told within three or four months the harvest will be ready. Mm -hmm. It will be done. Then uh, Musalia pushed it to six months. Gashagua pushed it to a year. <laughs> Uh, Osoro now today is telling us yeah. one to two months. I wish I don't know who in this administration can give a concrete time frame within which Kenyans can expect the price of unga to go even below what we were we were buying unga by the time we went into the election, which was a hundred shillings, and not for any just some shady brand of uh, unga. No, <laughs> because I have said that food security has a component of preference. That you cannot tell me that now there is a packet of unga at 120, but it is a brand that I have never heard of and I do not recognize, I don't know where it comes from. My household is used to cooking ugali using a certain brand of unga. That brand of unga used to be 100 shillings. It went to 250. If you are, telling, you are telling me because of your policies, it has gone back to 100, I should go to the shelf and find that same brand of unga retailing at 100 shillings. But they are being clever. When the president speaks, he says, first he gives a range. And so that we are not able to pin him down. He says between 150 and 170. Mm. Then he gives another rider, depending on the brand you buy. He thinks we are fools. He thinks we cannot see through the lies that he's telling us. So Osoro, as a whip in the National Assembly, can you tell the nation here today, is it one month? Is it two months? Can we hold you down to a time when we will go to the supermarkets in this country and find Unga retailing at 90 shillings or 70 shillings like you promised? Uh, it, you know, is there a time frame? It is. It is. It is the, the, let me tell you. The it game. is. It is wrong for um, uh, Sifuna and Dr. Ekuru to imagine that at it, they know it's facts within their knowledge that it is not the government that comes out to declare that you know today the price will be seventy. What the government? No, so he did no, it. No, no, no. It is not the government. Ruto that, said the government it himself. We live in a free market. Yeah. Our, the, the free market, the, the market is controlled. The other parameters that control market is the element of the supply, you know, and the need and everything that comes with it. When the supply is amper, for example, like we said, when <coughs> after the uh, uh, after the harvest, after the harvest, we'll get to know, you know, there will be a surplus of maize across. That automatically will reduce the price of unga. It's not really the government that... There, give me one single government, including the developed countries, where a government comes and says, you know, today or tomorrow, the price of this particular commodity, yeah. this, uh, this unga, so will, Trevor, will, will be hundred shillings. Let me it's not practical. Sifuna should be honest enough and know that yeah. <laughs> these things is a supply and demand. Okay. So what we are trying to push is to push that this, the, 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 the demand you know, for the goods becomes a little bit competitive yeah. in terms of, the, based on the supply. Okay. Because there will be a bumper harvest across yeah. the country. Maize will be all over. It will be easily accessible. Now people yeah. will reduce their prices. And eventually the price of Unga will go down. So you're looking for an equilibrium, yes. Yeah, now th this is the point that I was making, that we need honesty in our politics. Mm -hmm. I personally believe that people can vote for you, even if you tell them the truth. You know, you don't have to lie to the public to get into office. As I said, that is what we call obtaining by false pretenses. <laughs> that language that he is employing right now, this is Ungumingi that he's talking about, that is the language I want to hear William Ruto on top of cars during campaigns. He should be saying, we will determine the price of maize uh, uh, based on the market equilibrium of supply and demand. He is the one who said it with his own mouth that immediately he puts down the Bible, the price of maize flour will be 70 shillings. But Nobody he said that. To say that. No, he he said is that. the one, just let me finish, he's the one who said that the government will be of Mamamboga and uh, what were Boda Boda. He never mentioned the IMF. He should stand in the markets the way that he used to campaign and say, by the way, this government is going to be between me and the IMF. You people are not going to be uh, shareholders in this particular government. Why can't you tell people the truth? Let people em uh, employ you as the president of the republic based on actual truth, things that you said with your own mouth. That is not so what this under Kizungu the that you are coming here, don't say it's water no, under the bridge. So and Kenyans are under the bridge. <laughs> we are drowning in that water under the bridge, Osoro. Get us out of the bridge. <laughs> 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 I 